Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Nilab. The topic that I am going to teach today is salting in and salting out. Now I have already uploaded a video on salting in and salting out in Hindi. So if you are comfortable in Hindi, you can go and uh, watch that particular video. I would be giving the link of that uh, video in the description. Uh, this video it would be in English. So let us start with salting in and salting out. Now what is this salting in and salting out? So this particular technique is used for solubilizing a protein mainly or it can also be used used to precipitate out that protein how it is done understand this that whenever uh, you want to solubilize a protein what you need to do is you need to increase the salt concentration a little bit so what i'm trying to say is suppose you are having a test tube and inside that test tube you are having proteins okay inside a solvent so proteins are present inside a solvent now the proteins are not soluble okay this is the condition the proteins are initially not soluble you want to solubilize that protein how would you do it you would add a little bit of salt not very high amount of salt but a little bit of salt and when you add that salt what will happen the protein will solubilize inside the solvent protein will uh, what do you say dissolve inside the solvent in this case we are talking about water the solvent uh, would be water okay so adding a little bit of salt increases the solubility of the salt so increases the solubility of the protein inside uh, the solvent or water this process is called as salting in okay and when you are increasing the salt concentration to a greater extent what will happen it will again cause the precipitation of the protein this will be called as salting out now i would be ta uh, talking about the basic details or the reasons why salting in and salting out take place primarily so let us start looking at the definition itself you can see that salting in refers to the effect that increasing the ionic strength of the solution results in increase in the solubility of solute such as a protein that is what i just said that whenever you are increasing the whenever you are increasing the salt concentration little bit not very high again little bit then it will lead to increase in the solubility solubility of protein this is what is said over here and one thing again this happens at a lower ionic strength you should not increase the salt concentration to a very high uh, extent okay lower uh, salt concentrations let us talk about the salts that can do uh, such things for example in general ammonium sulfate is used to uh, do this kind of precipitation or solubilizing the proteins it is done by ammonium sulfate okay so the example over here is ammonium sulfate let us now come back to the reason what are the reasons because of which the salts they increase the solubility of a protein so we are talking currently about salting in why does that happen or what is the reason behind that so what happens is salt ions they bind to the proteins ionizable groups now let me show you let us consider that you have kept a test tube this is my test tube and inside the test tube let us say that there is water and in the water there are proteins now what have i done they these are two proteins this is one protein molecule and this is the other protein molecule there would be multiple molecules of the protein inside the test tube so one molecule is uh, on the left side one molecule is on the right side what happens is these protein molecules have the ionizable groups right you would be knowing that uh, the charges on the amino acids they vary because of the ph right so there would be ionizable groups and uh, there would be ions present on the protein so what happens is the positive ions on one protein molecule will interact with the negative ions or the opposite charged ions present on the other molecule so there is a uh, continuous interaction between the protein molecules that are present inside the tube and what does this lead to whenever the solute molecules or protein molecules are interacting with each other very uh, strongly what happens is they tend to form a precipitate okay the solubility over here decreases and a precipitate is formed over here also if you can see this positive ion will start interacting with this negative one this positive will start interacting with this negative one so on and so forth 
Now over here, you can see that solute solute interaction is increasing. Why solute solute? Because one protein molecule is interacting with the other protein molecule. So solute solute interaction is increasing and solute solvent interaction is decreasing over here because solute solvent interaction, why is it decreasing? Because they are not interacting with the water. They are interacting amongst themselves. So this will lead to the formation of a precipitate. And now our job is to solubilize it because we are currently talking about salting in. Now you can see that uh, you can you might be able to recognize this individual. He is a very famous personality. He is called as Salt Bay. What is he doing? He is just adding the salt which he does best. Might yeah, right? You might be knowing he was very popular during, during the FIFA. So Salt Bay is adding, he is a typical way of adding salt. What is he doing? So you can see that salt is uh, dropping down like this. Salt crystals are falling down. So he is adding salt for the purpose of again solubilizing the protein. Okay. So when you add the pro when you add the salt, what happens is the, the salt ions, what do they do? They break these interactions. These interactions that are present between the two solute molecules, these electrostatic interactions that are present between two protein molecules, they are broken when you add up the salt in, of course, lower concentrations. Now, when these interactions, ionic interactions, these are broken, then what happens is the water molecules, because water molecules will be present all around this, the water molecules which are present around the two protein molecules, they will start solvating the proteins or they will start interacting with the proteins. And hence, the solubility of the protein will now increase. I believe you would have understood this. So let us just read the text that is written. So salt ions bind to the protein ionizable groups. This is what I said. Salt will now bind to the proteins. Previously, proteins were interacting amongst themselves. Now salt will come. Salt will come. Uh, salt ions because let us say NH4, NH4 whole twice SO4 uh, ammonium sulfate. So uh, sulfate is negatively charged, ammonium is positively charged, positive charge will interact with the negative one, negative will interact with the positive one. So what will happen ultimately? The bonding between the two proteins will be broken now. Okay, so this decreases the interaction between the oppositely charged groups. So these are the oppo oppositely charged groups, the interaction between them will be broken. and. Uh, now the water molecules can now interact with these groups. This is very important. Now the water molecules previously they were not able to interact, but now they are able to solvate the protein molecules. This again increases the solubility of the protein in water. I believe you would have understood the reason behind this. Okay, so salt decreases the interaction between the solute and solute. So over here you can see that solute solute interaction is decreased and now very important point is that solute solvent interaction has increased. Now the water molecules have started interacting with the protein molecules. So we can say that solute solvent interaction has increased. Now what you will see is that uh, water will now start interacting with this protein molecule and this protein molecule as well. So it will increase interact like this and water molecules will also interact like this. So everywhere there is water. So it will solubilize these protein molecules. I hope you would have understood this concept. Now let us move towards the salting out. Let us talk about salting out. What is salting out? Now suppose I am not increasing the salt concentration only a little bit. What have I done is I have added a very high amount of salt. So the salt concentration is pretty high now. So what will now happen? Previously, little salt amount added and it increased the salt. Uh, it increased the uh, uh, interaction between the protein and the salt, uh, pr protein and the solvent or water. But when you are, yes. So when you are adding large amount of salts, what happens is a precipitate is formed. This process is called as salting out. Now why this happens? Let us talk about this. So let, I'm going to show you a diagram and then we would again come back to the text. What happens is when you are increasing the salt ions to a very higher extent, what will happen? Now the salt ions will start interacting with the protein molecules at a very high rate. The salt ions will be covering the protein molecules. Previously, 
water molecules were covering right when we added only a little bit the water molecules were covering or water molecules were interacting with the proteins but now what has happened is the salt concentration is so high that they are covering the protein molecules okay now when they are covering the protein molecules what has happened is water tends to move away or water is now not able to interact with this protein molecule so you can say that you can see over here is this is salt and this is water water has fallen back water is not able to interact with the protein only salt is surrounding the uh, what do you say the protein molecules okay now uh, what will happen now what will this result into when the water water has fallen back what this will lead to is the hydrophobic residues which were previously present inside the core now you would be knowing that when a protein is present in water or aqueous environment what happens is suppose this is a protein okay suppose this is a protein let me show it to you uh, suppose this is a protein the hydrophobic residues would be present inside the core they will not be present on the outside hydrophobic residues will present inside will be present somewhere here present inside the core but as the water molecules have fallen back as the water molecules have gone back water molecules are not present around the hair so what will happen now the hydrophobic residues that were initially present inside now they will be opened up or they will be present on the exterior hydrophobic residues when they are present on the exterior what will happen suppose this uh, proteins hydrophobic residues is are present over here this proteins hydrophobic residues are present over here they will start interacting with each other again now this what will it lead to it will again lead to the interaction hydrophobic interaction between the two proteins and again this will be precipitated out i believe you would have understood this concept also okay so let me just come back to the text and uh, let's see what is written so you can see these are the hydrophobic residues hydrophobic residues so over here also there are hydrophobic residues now they have opened up since they have opened up now they will start interacting with each other and this will again lead to aggregation and precipitation again lead to aggregation and precipitation so uh, this uh, was basically uh, what is sorting out let me just come back to the process to the uh, entire um, uh, what do you say step by step process of sorting out so the process this process is called as sorting out over here when you are increasing the salt concentration to a great uh, amounts water will solvate the salt and the water is removed around the protein around the protein no water will be present hydrophobic residues will be exposed and hydrophobic residues will interact with now uh, now interact with each other this will cause precipitation so i believe you would have understood this a uh, quick conclusion of whatever we have studied so this is again salt bay now i believe you would have known him also so he is a turkish butcher by the way so when you are increasing the salt concentration the precipitation uh, will happen when at a very high salt concentration it will lead to precipitation called as salting out and when you are keeping the salt concentration or you are adding the salt at a layer at a lesser concentration it will Uh, lead to the increased solubility caused uh, call, uh, called as salting in so i believe you would have understood this uh, if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon do share it with your friends thank you so much have a good day